And good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Liberty Street is going to get an extreme makeover. A police recruit class is moved up and shot spotter will be expanded in Price Hill. That is the impact of a majority of Cincinnati Council members overriding Mayor John Cranley's veto today. And nine on your sides. Tom McKee is live right now with what these decisions mean for you, Tom. Well, that police recruit class is going to start three months earlier than expected to keep staffing levels high. A shot spotter, which has been very effective at curbing crime in Avondale, is going to move to the west side. And Liberty Street, well, Liberty Street's going to get that makeover, as you said, a plan that's been six years in the making. A bit of historical note here, Liberty Street was built as a connector between I-75 and I-71 before Fort Washington Way was built. It cuts the over the Rhine in half. Residents say it's unsafe to cross and businesses there have trouble staying open. So money from the city's reserves will begin the process of moving a water line to start construction. Now, council did not have the votes for the project at first and to override the mayor's veto until Jeff Pastor changed his mind and became the deciding factor. It was difficult because you got so many competing factions, uh, you know, trying to pull you one way or the other. And because me and my colleague, Mr. Silbach, were the six votes respectively for the Omnibus and the Liberty Street project, um, it was a lot of, you know, you know, pulling from here, robbing people to the PayPal. I think it's a lot of what people would like to see our national leaders do. Uh, we both gave, we both uh, didn't get exactly what we want, but we came up with a compromise that we can both live with. Now, Liberty Street is going to go from seven to three lanes from seven in the morning to seven at night and allow on-street parking then the other 12 hours of every day. You heard about the robbing Peter to pay Paul. Well, Bethany House was cut $150,000 to help pay for this particular project. There was another expense that was approved also in this compromise, and that's money for the Center for Closing the Health Gap. I'll have the reasons how that happened coming up at six. Tom McKee, not on your sign, live Cincinnati City Hall downtown.